It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Crick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at Silicon Valley at the Anita Borg Institute Women of Vision Awards 2015. And we're really excited in this next segment to be joined by a 2015 award winner, uh, Tiffany Schlein from Webby Awards and Moxie Interactive. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on the win. Well, you know, I don't know if I'm actually, I'm the keynote speaker. Oh, you're the keynote speaker. Do you want to redo that? No, that's all right. <laughs> we like the keynote speaker. So you uh, you got it. You got to carry the whole thing. I, uh, no, I mean, I'm very excited. I'm doing a new talk, which I've never done before, which I like to do. And it's all about um, kind of my experiences running, founding and running the Webby Awards. And I'm going to be talking about what I've learned about negotiation. Well, that's funny because uh, we had Maria Clave on at Grace Hopper, and she was talking about helping people negotiate higher right. salaries. So that's uh, that's a good topic. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not. That's interesting about it's a higher salary because I'm kind of getting metaphysical about like life is a negotiation. Like every, if you think back on your day, you've negotiated like 20 times, and some strategies that I've learned about um, negotiating, and I kind of from the beginning of when I was a young child to today. So I'm excited because. You know, I do do a lot of speaking, and for me to tackle a new talk and really try to understand it and pre present it in an engaging way. I use a lot of images in my talk and video, and so I'm excited about it. So that's funny, because I would imagine... It's like a talk premiere. It, it's a talk premiere. <laughs> if, if, you, if you ask most people if they're good negotiators, I'm just guessing that most would say probably no, and yet you're saying that we negotiate over and over and over all, all day long. And I think if people think about it, it'll probably become less scary when they're in a situation where they don't feel confident negotiating. And there, there are situations where I, I mean, where I get nervous. It's not like I know everything, but I've learned strategies along the way um, that have made it better. And I and I am a business I mean I'm a filmmaker and make a lot of films, but so much of filmmaking is also being a business person. If you want to get your films made and get them out into the world. And I think th those skills are equally important and especially for women. I mean, there's a lot of women in the audience tonight. I think um, I think we need to be asking for more in general. Yeah. 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 So give us a couple tips for the folks that aren't going to be in the uh, in the keynote tonight. Some of the things you're going to share. Or, or can you? <laughs> top secret. Oh, top secret. <laughs> um, okay, I'll give you one that's kind of deep in the talk. And at my film studio, we call it the love sandwich. Okay. Now, the love sandwich can be applied to any situation when you're giving critical feedback on right, something right. or in a high-level negotiation with millions of dollars. So here's how it works. You start with love. You tell the person what they're going to get. Then you say what you need, and then you end with what they're going to get. So it's a love sandwich. A lot of people go into a negotiation like, I want this, da 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 But that's all wrong. You have to start, what is that person going to get? Right. And so you have to kind of create a love sandwich in many situations. But that's my negotiating tip for today. Well, that's a good one because it, it's interesting. Uh, Positive Coaching Alliance, who's all about helping uh, youth coaches, um, sports, uh, coach their kids and stuff, have this very similar concept in terms of the criticism sandwich, mm -hmm. where if you're trying to give somebody advice, they criticism. Call it the criticism sandwich? No, I forget what they call it, but uh, it's, it's the say, same that's thing. Not but a it's good name because it's, it's a negative name. It's lead, you know, lead with the positive. <laughs> lead with the love. Come in with with the, with what you're actually trying and to communicate, the and then come out with the love. Yeah, people just everything is received better. Negotiations, feedback, everything is better with love, basically. Okay, okay so this is a huge techie conference. It's all about <laughs> CS. So what does filmmaking have to do in well, you know, negotiation with with the tech the side? Thing. I have spent my life. Um, very engaged in technology. I founded the Webby Awards, and I spent my life looking at how the good, the bad, and the potential of technology. So um, I, I love being in a space in a room full of people that are thinking about these ideas. And um, so I think just as someone who's studied and experimented a lot with technology, that's where I'm coming from. So you, you've obviously got kind of a, a social angle. You, you yeah. study people, you pay attention to people. What, what's kind of your perception in terms of, of everybody walking around like this now and, and you know, kind of how that's changing the dynamics of communication? I don't think it's a good thing. I mean, I, I'm going to talk about this in my talk tonight too, but I was so worried about what you were saying that um, about six years ago, my husband and I, with our kids, we have one day where we turn all screens off, and we've been doing it for five years now. We call it our technology Shabbats. And it's totally changed my life because I was worried. I was like, people are not paying attention. They're 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 just not paying attention to anything. Right, right. Not the people they love in front of them. Not the sunset. Not anything. And 
I mean, it's terribly unattractive, too. Everyone's walking around with double chins and, like, hunchbacks, and they straining the neck. There's all these things that are wrong, but mostly it's about not being present. So, um, you know, probably one of the best things I've ever done in my life was really negotiating with my husband, who's a professor of robotics. He's super into tech. We all are. And I was like, could we really turn them all off for a day? Could we just try it as an experiment? And it was so profound that we now we're on our sixth year of doing it. Awesome. So uh, tips to uh, young women out there getting started in their career. They want to go into film. They want to go into tech. You're a social maven, keeping an eye on everything. What do you tell them? Ask for more. <laughs> Ask for more. Just a big blanket. That, that is my talk tonight. I love it. Ask for more. It's pretty simple, right? And guess what? You might just get it. You'll only get it if you ask for more. Absolutely. Well, that's okay. for sure. You won't get it if you don't ask. So. Well, Tiffany, thanks for stopping by. Good thanks luck on the you. keynote tonight. Thank you. My premiere talk. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. <laughs> uh, we won't watch it, unfortunately. We'll be doing more interviews, but that's okay. okay. We'll you'll, you'll knock it out of the park. Thanks Thank for stopping you. by. Uh, Tiffany here with Jeff Frick here the, on the Cube at the Anita Borg Women of Vision Awards in Santa Clara, California. Thanks for watching. Thank you.